Okay, in this video I want to go and talk about homeschooling math. So um, whether you are currently homeschooling or considering homeschooling, uh, I'm going to try to impart some <clears throat> good um, advice uh, or guidance uh, to you out there. So let me just tell you who I am. My name is John Zimmerman. I am uh, the founder of Tablet Class Math. and I also run a blog called Homeschool Math Online. And uh, I've been a math teacher for many, many years, middle, high school, and college mathematics. And um, over the last uh, several years, I've really been connected with the homeschool uh, community, uh, mostly in the U.S., but uh, even um, uh, globally. So that's put me in a position to really learn from a lot of um, homeschoolers. That's kind of a unique thing that I'm trying to do is to really – kind of uh, consolidate trends and things that I already knew, but things that were kind of confirmed to me by just um, working with countless uh, families, uh, homeschoolers, and trying to um, consolidate what I think some lessons uh, learned uh, that are important for you as a, as a homeschooler to kind of you know, be aware of, and you may very well be aware of some of the things I'm going to be talking about. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing is <clears throat> pros and cons of just homeschooling uh, in general, and I'm just going to focus on uh, the math part of it. So I think that, uh, you know, homeschooling is a, is a personal choice. Uh, it could, it can definitely be successful uh, from a mathematics standpoint all the way through uh high school and in college, so um, there's no doubt about it. And it's not just a, a kind of one-off uh, type of thing where just the minority of, of homeschoolers, just a few s select, uh, really make it into the top universities or uh, do well. There's quite a few homeschoolers that are just doing an, uh, an outstanding job. So it can be done, um, but at the same token, as somebody like uh, who's taught at uh, public middle schools and public high schools, which I have in, in top districts, uh, you know, you can get a uh, top quality math education, you know, in schools as well. I know just as homeschooling had a uh, kind of uh, negative stereotype and still does in a lot of uh, sectors, that's kind of diminishing over the years. People are recognizing it more and more as a, uh, as a, as a good option. Uh, but Likewise, you know, a lot of what goes on in the public schools, you know, some people are just saying that's all bad as well. That's not the case um, either. So you really have to, it's, you know, determine what what's available to you um, as a parent for your child. If you if you um, live in a district where you have a great school, then obviously you you, you need to kind of weigh that. If you of course you live in a you know, a place where it's not a good school, then obviously uh, homeschooling is going to look more attractive. So weigh the balances. I will say, though, from uh, the biggest pros and cons that I can um, would highlight is, and we'll kind of get to here in a second, is the high school math, the more advanced math. Um, you want to have access to a math teacher. So that would um, weigh heavily towards, um, you know, like considering a, um, a school option, you know, at the at the high school level, but not necessarily either. Okay, so you, I'm not going to tell you what I think the pros and cons are, but you should weigh the pros and cons yourself on what's important to you. But don't eliminate anything um, right off the bat. I mean, I think keep an open mind um, in terms of uh, uh, solutions. So now the next thing I want to talk about is being a, be a leader. Okay, not a follower. And this is where I see a lot of homeschoolers. You know, get kind of uh, especially those are kind of new. They'll they'll kind of join maybe a homeschool group, or they'll kind of look to see what other people are doing, and then they'll say, "Oh, I like that curriculum for my for my child because everyone else is using it, so it must be it must be good." Well, that's you know you got to be really careful with that. And I see too much of this. I see a lot of um, homeschoolers just doing what's popular. Um, now, obviously. You know, if there's a program that's been out there for a long time, like my program, say Tablet Class, people um, will like it. It's got a good reputation, et cetera, along with a lot of um, many other programs. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's the um, just because it's got a good reputation. A lot of people do it. That doesn't mean it's the right fit for you and your child. OK, so you got to be careful on who's influencing you. Now, if you go on to forums or, you know, you're, you're in a uh, homeschool uh, co-op or or homeschool group and people are saying oh i would recommend this or I would recommend that 
recommend this program or that program. I think those are um, things to definitely consider to learn how uh, people, you know, how their people's children have fared in, in particular programs. But just remember that um, that's not your child. That's someone else's child. That's, a, that's someone else's experience. So you have to be, you kind of have to be a leader. You have to kind of, you know, you have to think for yourself. And this is why, <clears throat> uh, you know, homeschooling is challenging if you want to do it correctly. I mean, you just can't outsource your decisions to what other people are doing. And, and if, I don't think if you're willing to do the research or do the work, then homeschooling is probably not the best choice for you. Uh, and, you know, and that's okay as well. I mean, homeschooling is challenging. You don't have, there's no, I don't think you have to feel bad about it at all and say, well, that's just too much work. You know, I have too much going on in my life. Then I would suggest looking for other options, which could be, um, uh, you know, good for your child, uh, you know, as well. And I'm making this point over and over again, but don't get stuck in the mindset that you have to do, you know, anything. I will say the major benefit of homeschooling is your ability to be flexible. But <clears throat> the, uh, sometimes when you're given too many choices, um, that could be that could be difficult as well. It can cause a problem. That's a, almost a, a separate issue. So you're like, well, I don't even know where to start. Whereas if you're just going to the local public school, you kind of already know, you know, you do your research on that school and you feel comfortable with it. You know, that's pretty much where you're going to, you're going to, you know, um, you know, entrust your child's education with, but, um, <clears throat> in homeschooling, you have to be a leader. Okay. And, uh, test programs. And I would say like when it comes to mathematics, uh, you know, do a lot of, do a lot of research, a lot of research and and do trial programs, do free trials or test things out uh, because you don't want to get fully committed to a program that you find out that, hey, it, it didn't work. You know, let's say it's seventh grade math or eighth grade math and you spend a year in a, in a curriculum that, you know, it, it wasn't the right curriculum for your child. You you, you lost a full year. That is in uh, can be, you know, such a uh, huge detrimental thing for your child. It can really set them back. So, um Again, you know, uh, don't trust everything you read. Take it, put it into your kind of like your mental computer, weigh it. But ultimately, you have to be the decision maker for your child, okay? Um, now, let me talk about uh, high school math here. And I have this down as my kind of last thing uh, that I want to share with you. Now, in high school math, I'm talking pretty much pre-algebra, maybe algebra one uh, and above, okay? So we're talking... Algebra 1, generally you're going to go to geometry, then algebra 2, then pre-calculus, and then uh, calculus, okay? This is the traditional uh, path, and there, you can deviate a little bit from this, but more most most schools, most people are going to be doing this, this general program. Now, algebra 1 for most people is done at the ninth grade, and then geometry 10th and 11th, and then uh, the 12th grade. Now, calculus, if you got a head start, Obviously, when you started taking geometry in the ninth grade, then you would just kind of, you, you could see how you'll end up in calculus as a senior, okay? So, this is pretty much going to be, uh, you know, like a standard college prep track. I will say this much, if, you're, if your child is homeschooling and, and, and as a senior is at pre-calculus, they're right on track. There's no need to be taking calculus um, at, uh, in high school from my perspective, and uh, I studied, my, my degree is actually in mathematics, so a lot of uh, teachers, they have like math education degrees, and, and that's perfectly fine, but but those who have a pure like math degree or, or an engineering degree, you know, sometimes, uh, in my opinion, the, the when you start off calculus as, as a freshman in college, you I just think the quality of education is a, uh, for the calculus is better. Um not to say that you can have a great calculus experience, you know, as a senior, uh, but if you're going to go into something technical, it's perfectly fine to take this at college. So you don't you don't have to push your child to like, oh, we got to get you to take calculus A, B, and pass the AP test as a senior. I would not push that track. Okay, the mo more important thing is to get them to master these. Um, these uh, courses, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, Pre-Calculus, okay? It's critical because um, when they take the SAT or ACT, they, you want to kind of be done with Algebra 2 
to really kind of be fully prepared from a, at least from going over the topics that are going to be on the test. So you think about it, if you're going to be taking this in 11th or 12th grade, you really do need to kind of um, get going um, in your ninth grade years as freshman year in Algebra 1. And you, you got to go for programs that are going to be solid programs. They're going to really teach your child. Now, what's the point, I'm, uh, the bigger point I'm trying to make? For high school mathematics, um, you really do want to have the assistance of a teacher, um, uh, an experienced math teacher, because the material is, is, is complicated. It's like, well, no, Algebra 1, uh, no, I can, you know, I remember doing that, you know, you, 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 the parent are thinking, well, it's, I was good at math, and I've seen so many parents think, well, I was good at math, so therefore my, my child will be good at math, and I can help them along solve the program. And I think that's admirable, but here's the thing. It's also very deceiving. Um, and you're kind of living in a bubble, if you will, if you're homeschooling math and you think that my child's doing just fine. I've seen this uh, uh, problem like uh, way too much to, to, to know that this is an issue, a broad uh, issue in, in homeschooling, is that uh, a lot of homeschoolers aren't, aren't giving their children uh, at the high school level rigorous enough uh, curriculums to study, okay? And I'm not going to name names or I'm not going to get into that. You, you're going to have to determine that. Uh, but you need to, to make sure, you know, and this is, uh, I'm going to put a little caveat in here. This is if your child is, you know, if you, you're wanting your child to have a college prep um, option. In other words, well, I'm not sure if they're going to go to college, but if they are going to go to college, then, you know, you want you want to default on a, on a curriculum that's going to be uh, stronger. So, don't don't settle for a curriculum that your child likes that's kind of like an easy curriculum because even though that's hey this program's going well for us and we like it you know you could find out and i've seen this happen so often that you 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 went through a, a program that was nice and easy and you, everyone enjoyed it but guess what it didn't really prepare them for the quote real world and i'm talking about the sat act community college college so you need to once again I'm coming back to my second point. You got to be a leader and do your research, okay? But uh, any high school math program, especially uh, in today's day and age, I would strongly suggest um, having something that has uh, it's either video based or has a lot of video um, support to it. So you don't have to just stick with the workbooks, um, things like that. Although there's a lot of great w workbook programs out there, and they might that might work for your child. But to get a fully comprehensive you know uh, math education you want to you want to get you you, you want to have a math teacher teaching your child via video distance learning uh, etc and that's kind of one of the um, uh, pros of um, of, of a school system if you live if you're you know have access to a top-notch public school you know they have excellent uh, teachers in most states you got to remember to teach math at a high school level you have to have a degree in math or a math education degree, but generally the math teachers are going to have a degree in mathematics. It's a very difficult degree to have, and they're going to have their teaching certification. So you're talking about um, people who are very qualified to, to teach um, uh, math. Now, they, well, are they the best teacher in general? Do they communicate the best to your child? Well, that's a whole separate issue. But in terms of their qualification, their command of the, uh, the material, you know, you're, 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 it's likely that your public school, your public high school has, you know, top notch, um, uh, teachers there. Okay. Or at least from a, um, a, a qualification standpoint. So, and that brings me to another topic, um, within the high school math is you, you're going to have to do your research, find a program that your child likes, you like, and, and you can trust. And then, uh, one that's going to be, you know, give them a good solid education. So, you know, things to consider. Now, how does this contrast, the high school math contrast to, let's say, on the elementary or the, the middle school math? Here, I think, in my opinion, you have a little more latitude uh, because as a parent, you know, uh, you can help your child. You, you, most parents are going to be able to help their children uh, much more with the basic elementary math, uh, fractions, decimals, addition. It's, it's it's easier to kind of mentor or tutor your child at those levels, and there's a lot of a lot of great programs out there that you can uh, you can use. So I think because you as a parent can act as a 
kind of a mentor slash teacher with the younger children, it's separate. But when your child is in high school, you know, they're going, they're becoming, and I'm also a parent myself, so I've, I've been there, done that. Now, they become more independent. They're not going to want to listen to you as much. And I've had um, many homeschooling parents that are mathematicians, physicists, doctors, engineers. They're highly qualified to teach uh, mathematics. Guess what? Their, their children don't want to listen to them. 90% of the times, it's like, yeah, they're, they're tuning you out. So as much as you, you know, um, think, hey, I'm going to be able to help my kid with uh, this, they're not going to, they're going to, they're going to want to have, um, listen to somebody else. <laughs> it's just kind of the way it generally is. So um, you want to have somebody else who has those qualifications helping your child. Anyways, so all in all, you know, uh, when, home, when it comes to homeschooling math, you can be, uh, it can be a great success story for your child. Me personally, I think that um, everybody should con- consider it. You know, it's definitely not right for, for um, uh, a lot of families. It's just, it's very challenging. But if you're willing to do the work and you're motivated, you know, the fact that you can have that much control um, over your child's education is, is it's really exciting. And especially now, nowadays with the technology and what's available out there, you can, if through research, okay, and doing a lot of hard work and managing your child's kind of uh, uh, curriculums and their education, you can give them a, a fantastic, uh, fantastic education. And it's proven over and over. Many homeschoolers are, you know, just showing themselves to shine, you know, on, on all types of levels. And uh, and so you you can get in, you can get your child into, let's say, Harvard, MIT. Uh, there's homeschoolers that are going to these places. Anything is possible. But once again, if you're not willing to do the work, and if you just kind of kind of blindly follow what people are saying, then I think you're you're running a risk of um, of, of being frustrated or you know, uh, uh, and then maybe being regretful. And your your your, your child doesn't have the time because you know these years are or these years of uh, development for them are, are critical. But anyways, um, hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, I um, would appreciate it if you subscribe and maybe like. And leave me some feedback, maybe comment. Um, let me leave you with um, one of my blogs here. This is uh, homeschoolmathonline.com. I put a lot of free, a lot, and I mean, a, well, it's got to be hundreds of um, math videos on various topics, mostly high school math, uh, on here. So it would be an excellent resource for you to just kind of check out. And then also I have a link off this uh, uh, site to my main um, homeschool curriculum, uh, tabaclass.com. But whether you use uh, Tabaclass or this is a free website, I would just suggest, hey, having it on your uh, list of resources. But um, whatever you do, I want to wish you all the best. And if you're homeschooling out there, I, I mean, that's something to be really proud of because I can tell you right now, uh, most homeschoolers I've, I've talked to through the years are just been are just amazing people. And, uh, you know, kudos to you. And I hope that this video helped. Thanks for watching.